Hey guys, thanks for clicking. I appreciate that. So today we're gonna do um, some work on our bad boy, on our Maverick uh, 60. We're gonna replace the spindles and belt and blades. And uh, cause we're gonna do it, let's do it all at once, right? So we'll go through the steps and uh, I'll show you what we got. All right. And here she is, Maverick. This is not the HD, this is a 2020 model. This is the uh, straight up Maverick 60 inch deck. And I think we have, let's see, some about 800, about 800 hours on this machine. And I'm starting to get a loud uh, noise from the spindles. You could really, you could really hear it. I don't, I don't know. They're not really rocking, but they are definitely making a lot of noise. And unfortunately, Bad Boy does maintenance free spindles. So they do not have grease fittings. I believe there might be a way to customize that and make grease fittings in them, but we'll make another video out of that. So today we're gonna, um, like I said, we're gonna take this apart. We'll change our belt, we'll change our spindles, and we'll change our blades all at once. So first thing we're gonna have to do, there's the tensioner right there. Uh, I believe we're just gonna put a bar on that. We're gonna pop our belt off, and then we will take this other cover off uh, so we can get to the spindles. Then we'll jack it up and we'll go from there. All right. First, we're gonna take the pulley cover off over here. It's like two half inch caps. Take this little pulley cover off. Get it out of our way for now. And then let's see if we can get in here with a pry bar just to get that um, belt off. I know there's a tensioner. I don't know if I need to actually. Let's see. Okay, so I got the belt off. I just used a bar and uh, pushed it. But now there's three spindles here and I'm gonna spin them. You can hear that. You can hear that. And then if you go over to this one here, I think it's pretty obvious um, this one's making a lot of noise and it definitely needs to be replaced. Uh, like I said, I have this apart and I have all three spindles. So I'm gonna replace all three spindles. I believe they were $200 a piece, which is a big expense. Um, so hopefully we won't have to do it again. But like I said, we got 800 commercial mowing hours on this machine, so. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's where we're at. All right, so we're gonna try to get the first spindle off. Looks like it's a three quarter inch bolt on the top. Let's see if we can get that off. Try to back down here. Where's the blade? I have the extra pulley on this machine because I have a um, bagger set up, so that's 
That runs the fan for the bagger. That's why I have that if you're wondering. Okay. Now, getting these pulleys off, I have no idea. I know there's a keyway. Looks like there's a set screw. Take a look, I'll bring a camera over. Looks to me like, let me swing it around that bar. Looks to me like there's a set screw right here. And there's a keyway to hold this pulley on. I don't know if that's gonna come off easy or if we're gonna need a puller. Hopefully it'll come off easy because I don't really wanna take this mower deck off to replace that center one. So let's see if we can figure out the set screw and see if we can get the pulley to come off. So it's coming off with the puller. It's 1116s here. I put some fluid in there. There's no set screw holding the uh, pulley on there, but I'm trying not to ruin the pulley. And there it is, there's the keyway, keyway pin. I don't know why, they have a thing for a set screw. There's no set screws in these, that's the way it came. It hasn't fallen off in 800 hours, so I guess you don't need it. Anyway, that's that. That there, and we'll see if we can get this spindle out. I'm gonna have to pop the blade off first. And there you go, pops out the bottom. Like I said, this one, you're gonna hear it. There's just no grease at all. You hear it left in there. I don't know why they use these maintenance free things. You put a grease fitting in there, this thing will probably last forever. Whatever, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna pop a new one in. It was four nine sixteenth bolts, not in a bolt, just like that. And it comes right out the bottom. Nice and easy. Let's get the new one, match it up, make sure it fits. All right, so here's the new one. As you can, you can hear, it's perfect. I don't know why. I said, let's match them up. Make sure they're the same. They look pretty good to me. All right. Uh, let's get the new one in there. Okay, so we, we got this one back on. It's really pretty easy. It probably took maybe five minutes total. You get your four nuts and bolts and things and put it back on. That, that one's good to go. Uh, the center one, actually, we loosened this up. We used the, we didn't even need the air ratchet. Um, came off pretty easy and with a, a little wiggle, it came right up and off without even any uh, WD-40 or anything on that. So that one came off nice and easy. We got lucky because I was worried if I had to put a puller on there, um, but we didn't need it at all. So that came off nice and easy. Now let's pop these four 916 nuts and bolts off and that'll drop right out the bottom. 
and we'll replace the uh, middle one next. Here's the last one we're gonna do. Try to do this one on. Now we're gonna pop the blade first. Alright. Jack that mower up a little higher, it'll be easier. Blade 15 16 one bolt. That this one is, I believe, a three quarter inch on top. Let's see, use the impact to make life easier <laughs> or faster. Okay, three quarter. Let's see how that goes. Okay, now. Just the other, see this one too, like just wiggling it back and forth and it came right off without any problem, the keyway, and it's all clean in there. I also store my machines inside all the time. I don't leave them outside and I only wash them off, uh, so, but you can see it's pretty clean. There's no rust on there or anything. This one's a little noisy, but it's not, it's not that bad, but... We're gonna do our best here. All right, so now we have the four nine sixteenths um, nut and bolt here. Let's see if we can get these off. Let's see this one. It. Pop that one out. This one's a little noisy, but see how it spins? Shouldn't spin like that. I'll, I'll go over that in the end of the video um, if you don't know how to check to see if a bearing is good or not or if it needs to be greased. Maybe you know, maybe you don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, take our 916. I'm going to put the bolt through. This plate does move also. So, put that on there. Let me get your lock washer and nut. Let's get another bolt. Lock washer, nut. I'm gonna do a full review on this bad boy mower. Uh, I'll put it in the link once I make that video, but I'll probably make it right after this. But anyway, some of the info I'll put on there is, you know, this is, um, I believe this machine's a 2020. It's a great machine. I've used it, you know, I bought it in 2019. 
So I have like three years of commercial use on this thing. And, um, you know, in a nutshell, I would buy it again because it's a great machine. They really hold up. They're so easy to work on compared to some of the other machines we have. Good to go. All right, so easy way to pop these back on too is set your keyway in there, it's sticking out on the bottom. Can you see that? You can do it with your finger, just stick it out on the bottom. So that way, when you put it back in, you stick the keyway in, pop that right in there. Nice and easy. Let's get our nut and bolt. And then I can pop that on. Now, if the blade is on here, which it's not on here yet, because um, I took them off, you can hold the blade to tighten this. But if you have the blade off, like I do, uh, it's an inch and an eighth. There's actually, a, in, in the bottom of, I should have showed you, in the bottom of this thing, there's a spot where you can put a wrench on it open end wrench. You should be able to do this without looking. But... You just put this open end wrench, three quarter, and you can just tighten this pulley very easily like that. So now we're going to put uh, the blades on. I got three new blades. We're going to pop our blades on and we're going to pop our belt back on. And we should be good to go. And another quick tip uh, you know, like when you get new parts, like I said, I checked the spindles. We've got new blades here, new set of blades. So, you know, make sure before you try to install the stuff, put your old blade on top there yeah <laughs> you can see the i don't know if you can see it or not anyway these things are worn out they're they're kind of rounded but anyway put your um stuff on there check your parts before you put them on same thing we'll do with the belt when we're done and here the belt so i hang it from the thing this isn't an exact measurement of how to measure a belt but it gives you a really good ballpark idea you just hang it from the top there and you need to pull them back down and then you can tell they're both the same length because you don't want to go ahead and struggle with trying to put this belt on to find out that it's not the right size okay so now we're going to put the uh, belt back on um, just so you know there is a belt diagram on the front of the deck if it's not there anymore or worn off then really good idea is to take a picture of the belt routing before you take it off so anyway this is the way I'm gonna do it. This is the way I took it off. So I'm just gonna put the uh, pry bar on the tensioner. You really don't need to unscrew the tensioner, but we'll see, we might need to adjust the spring after we get it on there, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm just gonna pry the pulley back with the pry bar and I'm going to hook the belt over here on the left side. That's how I'm doing it. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but that's the way I'm gonna do it, so. And then, like I said, just go through and make sure, you know, your pulley's front to back, front to back. Uh, it's in the way it's supposed to be in there. And that's how we're gonna do it. So let's go pop that on and see how we make out. Okay, so we got our belt actually ended up a little bit easier than the pry bar was. I just put a half inch, sorry for the camera work there. I just put a half inch uh, long bar on this and that made it very easy. Hang on here. Made it, so I can show you a little bit, made it very easy to move the tensioner down. So we did that. And um, I also did check these four uh, pulleys. You know, there's a tiny bit of play, but 
they weren't screaming. Uh, so I'm gonna hold off on those because, <laughs> because I just spent $800 on the other stuff. So we're gonna run those until, uh, until they really need to be replaced. And now we'll get to the blades. This is probably something I should have done before I started the job, but um, I went under and, you know, scraped all of the deck underneath with a scraper. And then you have all that hardened stuff under there. Uh, yeah, next time I'll do that first. So now we're just going to reinstall the blades under here. We got our new spindles in. We're all tightened up. We got our belt on. Everything's good. Let's install, um, let's install our new blades now. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is a complete uh, spindle, blade, and belt replacement on the 2020 Bad Boy Maverick. Um, real quick, I can show you, I can show you what that costs. Pretty pricey. And again, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.